What's up everyone, L Pro, in today's video we're going to go ahead and talk about Dell fans. Now I've actually gotten a couple requests to go ahead and do a guide explaining how to modify regular 4-pin fans to use them in Dell computers. So therefore I'm going to go ahead and put the, together this little video today on how to do this properly. And I'm going to do it a little bit better than last time because previously in my other video, I'm not going to lie, it was a little sketch. I literally just twisted the wires and put some electrical tape and called it a day. And let's be honest, that's not a good method. It's going to eventually fall apart, or at least it's not going to look as nice, you know, it's going to be kind of, you know, jank. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this properly, using some butt connectors. We also got the pigtail. This is the original Dell pigtail. Right, what's up everyone, Future L Pro here, and uh, one thing I never mentioned in my original video is how the hell do you get the pigtail off of your original Dell fan? So, it's actually quite simple. You just cut it straight out of your old fan, and then you just wire it right up to your old, old new one. Now, this is not the example I showed, but this is the example of what not to do. But anyways, uh, back to the original video. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the difference between this and the original fan here. And then we've also got a wire stripper and a crimp. Oops. And a crimper, that, yeah, that's a crimper as well. So this is your tool, and then we have our fan. So I decided to purchase an RGB fan this time around. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it inside of another Dell. It's not gonna be an Optiplex, it's gonna be a Dimension, but either way, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how to basically get this converted over to the Dell style connector, because normal Dell connectors look like this, and then the original fan looks like that. So this is actually pretty easy to do. And I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a good in-depth guide on how to do this if you want to try it yourself. So, let's get started. Alright, so let's begin our in-home conversion here. So, what you're going to go ahead and do is gonna, you're going to need to find this guide on here. And I'll put a link in the description and you can find it on the Dell forum. But, basically, you're going to be looking at this diagram for this cable. As you can see, it matches it actually perfectly. Some pigtails are not the same color, so beware of that. At some point, Dell did refresh them and change the colors up. But this one's the right color, and as you can see, all you really have to do is just kind of match the wires off your normal uh, harness and then just attach them to your 5-pin. So the first cable on this 5-pin right here would be the blue connector. So your blue cable is going to be attached using a butt connector. You're going to be attaching it to the very last wire right here. So this final wire that I'm it's on my finger right now, that's going to be attached to this blue cable using our butt connector. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick here on camera. And this sh and basically all you have to do is just go continue the rest of the wires. Just match each one of them until you get all of them. And then you can just go ahead and use this fan in Dell. So I'm going to just go ahead and do this on camera just so that you, know, you can see exactly how I do it. So here we go. So in order to mate these two wires that I just stripped, so I'm going to strip both of these wires. I struggled a little bit because I, uh, I tried using the actual, you know, wire stripper, but that doesn't work. So you have to use the wire cutter instead. It makes it a little bit easier with these really thin gauge wires. But basically what you got to do is insert both of these ends into the crimp right here and then just crimp these down. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right here. We have one, 
We're going to start with the Dell one. And if you didn't know, these are uh, labeled for your specific crimp. So you have your red crimp is going to go on the very top, blue crimp in the middle, and then yellow at the very bottom, just in case. Try to use red crimps on these because these are fairly thin gauge wires. So using very thick gauge crimps is not really going to work very well. So I don't recommend that. As you can see, it should be nice and solid right there. Pull it, it shouldn't pull out very easy. So there it is. We have one. We're going to go ahead and attach this end to the other side as well. Wow, that actually works surprisingly well. So there you go, guys. That's exactly what you should look for right here. As you can see, you can't pull these off. They should be nice and stuck in there. And you can shrink these parts. You just need a lighter or a, or a heat gun of some kind. Uh, I personally have my heat gun right here, so I'm going to go ahead and use that to melt, uh, shrink these. But basically, all you got to do is just match the different wires and use your diagram for reference to ensure that you don't get stuck or lost. And also, tip, do a, one wire at a time, so just start with one, then do the other. So as you can see, I started with the blue one, now I'm going to make my way to the black one, which is ground. So let's go ahead and grab the ground off of this, put it to that. Actually, guys, I should also mention, if you would like to, you can actually solder these as well. You can just solder the wires straight together. And honestly, that, might, that could work too. That's also a very nice permanent solution, so it's not out of the question if you would like to try it but in this case I'm going to use some butt connectors here and the crimps because honestly it's just nice and easy and I think uh, it makes for the best tutorial as you know these all these items are really easy to get you can get all this for like less than 40 bucks your fans 12 your connectors are like six dollars your crimps here are like five I guess like five six dollars I don't remember but they're not that expensive and realistically, you can do this very easily, even if you don't have very much money. As you can see right there, we have our ground ready to go. So, all you really got to do, as I said, just follow your guide here so that you don't get stuck. Do one wire at a time. Don't do all of them at once because then you'll get lost, especially if they're not color-coded. Like in this case, they're all black, so you're just going to have to do one by one. So you can see I got the blue one going. Got the blue one done. I got the black one done, so now I have to do the red and the white. So red is, let's see, it's going to be the second one. So it's going to be our red wire right here. So once again, you just got to do repeat the same process all over again. So as I said, there's really nothing to this. All right, so as you can see, I've done three of the four wires right here. So all we really got to do is one left here. This is the last one that we have. And this is going to go to our white wire. As I'm telling you guys, this is not difficult at all. Especially if you got like butt connectors and your tools. It makes this super simple. Anyone can do it. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, there's really nothing to this. Especially if you use your guide and you do one wire at a time. Honestly, this is a piece of cake. Like, really, there's nothing to it at all. Alright, so this is an example right here where I messed up. I, go, I, when I, get, <laughs> I crimped it before the wire was all the way in. And this can happen, son, especially if you're just trying to do this barehanded. Which, honestly, no big deal. Just go ahead and grab your wire cutters here and just cut this off all right so yeah that mistake is really easily corrected you just have to cut this off and then you just go ahead and get another butt connector and do it again just strip these wires once again and this is why I kind of recommend you leave quite a bit of wire especially when you're cutting away your original but or your original harness here so once you cut your original pigtail make sure you leave like I don't know like six inches 
I mean, the longer the better, honestly. If you leave the whole cable, don't do that. But anyway, this will help you out a lot when you mess up like I just did. So I'm going to go ahead and redo this again. Alright guys, as you can see right here, we're done. We got all the wires nice and connected here. And you can go ahead and, at this point, you can go ahead and grab your system and go ahead and plug this in and make sure it works. And honestly, it should work, given that you did follow the guide. But basically, that's all there is to it, guys, really. There's nothing, There's it's really not difficult at all. All you gotta do is uh, just match the wires. And normally on these uh, four pin fans, they're not actually colored. They're all just black. But sometimes they are like labeled a little bit as you can see there's like patterns basically you can just use the diagram that i provided you i'll provide a link in the description and you can just go ahead and do this and this works pretty well so i'm gonna go ahead and grab the dimension and go ahead and throw that in there and show you guys that it does work at least it should theoretically and if it doesn't that's all right we can just go ahead and try to just keep on doing it until it works there's it's just buck connectors so you can just cut and just get this cut them off try again so let's go ahead and grab the system. Alright, I'm back guys, and we're going to go ahead and uh, grab the big old Dell Dimension here. I've never really shown you guys this PC before, because to be perfectly honest, I kind of didn't, don't care about it. Let's be honest. Uh, so let's go ahead and see, uh, can I just lay this down? It's just blocking the view. Hold on. Alright, there we go, now you can see. So, let's go ahead and pop this thing open. Just pull the big old lever right here. This pops out of the way. And then you can pull this up and away. Oh wow, this thing is a mess. See, I, I never put this thing back together because honestly, who cares? I wasn't really planning to do much with this PC. But here, let me show you a little bit. See, there is no fan. I, I used it for a different project. To be perfectly honest, it got kind of ruined in, in the process, but it's no big deal. We can go ahead and put this back. So this is where our fan would go. So let's see, where's our fan? Here it is. So this fan would go in there. Usually there would be little rubber grommets, which you can usually reuse, but I don't see where they ended up. So, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't see them. So we're going to go ahead and probably try to mash some screws in here. Because honestly, whatever, just, you know, it's... Alright, so I'm not going to go full, like, super OCD, like, oh, look, I'm going to do this properly. I'm just going to go ahead and test this fan, really, just throw it in there. We're not even going to put the heatsink back, because it's panning for, who cares. So, here's our beautiful fan. It's soon to be RGB. Unfortunately, the RGB isn't going to just work like that, because, uh... Let's see, I think it goes like this. So the RGB, as I said, isn't really going to work just right off the bat because uh, I need to get me a USB or ARGB controller because I don't really have one of those. As you can see, as you, uh, our 120 mil fan fits perfect in here. Just need to jam in some screws in through the back and we should be good to go. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and test and see if this thing even works. Now, theoretically it should, but I don't know, we're just going to go ahead and see. We're going to prove if I'm super smart or if I'm super dumb. So here's our 5 pin. Goes in here. As you can see, it's plugged in. Let's put the fan right here. It's going to go grab a power cord and just test it, see if it works. Found one. So this one, this one came out of an old Mac Pro. Anyway... Let's go ahead and put this in here. And then I have a plug here next to me. Let's see if this thing fires up. So, oh, there it is. It's perfect. Look at that. This is great. So, I'm going to push the tester button back here. I think this one has a tester button, or does it not? Oh, it doesn't, huh? Shit. Well, it doesn't matter. And so as you can see, our LEDs on. So this thing works. Let's just fuck it. Put, turn it on. <laughs> so you can see it works perfectly. 
And they shouldn't give you errors, by the way. I already proved that in my uh, Dell um, Optiplex video. But as you can see right here, we got the fan working. We don't have the RGB working because I need to figure out the whole uh, controller thing. But basically, yeah, there we are. Fan works. So there you go, guys. That is how you wire up your very own Dell fan. So pardon the mess here, but I generally don't know why I put this on if I was just literally going to take it back off again. So, we're gonna, so as you can see, I already turned the computer on. And it is running with our fan in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It might be a little hard to see. But our fan is in there and it is running. Our computer is not complaining. There was absolutely no errors. Uh, so let me go ahead and plug in the monitor because I never put a power cord in it. It's just... I was trying to use it with no power cord. I'm not going to use my good monitor. I'm going to use this one. So, one moment while I go get a power cord. Actually, no, I'm going to just yank it out of here. Let's see. Come on. There it is. Let's see. Let's put this in here. Oh, wow. What did I drop? I don't know. But basically, all you got to know is all you got to know is that there is. It almost looks like a nuke went off in here because. There's like so much crap. Let's see. Yeah, so as you can see, we're in Linux. I forgot that this computer even had Linux on it. But let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and restart this thing. I don't know how to use Linux. It's been a while since I used Linux. Let's see, log out. And we're going to push. Restart. So as you can see. Let's see. Will this thing turn back on? There it is. And. Let's see. What does it do? There's no, nothing on the screen right now. Wait, what happened? Uh, it died. It's not, wait, what? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I was getting worried. I was like, well, what, what happened here? But there you go, guys. Um, success. As you can see, there was no errors. It was just a blank screen for a while. As you can see, we're still running our beautiful fan that I literally just hacked. Well, not hacked, but like, oh, what would happen there? Uh, you see, I got our fan right here. We got it all plugged in, and it works perfectly. So there you go, guys. That is how you install a regular fan into a Dell so if you're in case you're wondering I this was requested so there you go guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did uh, please support it anyways I'll catch you up on the next one peace